Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got to get this stuff off here today to see about getting this face and attachment mounted on here. So no idea how this will go or if I've even got all the parts to make it work, but hopefully I do. So start with getting my tool holder out of the spindle. I'm going to mark on there so I remember which way I had it. And I'm sure this collet's got to come off here. Clever way they did that. The, uh, the thread split and then the Allen screw wedges the thread open to lock it so it can't back off. Also, you don't damage your threads that way. Guess I'll mark this too just in case. Turns. It all turns together. Yeah. 
Yep, so it takes a half inch, same size as my truck, so. Well, Impact must loosen them for me. I'm having a look. Well, the face this thing appears to have had some pretty rough treatment over the years. We'll say that that piece has been off there quite a bit. They probably ran a big face mill on here at some time, really mowing some metal off. And bolt the face mill on with these holes here. I don't know if these are screw out drive lugs or if those are just plugging up the holes. I don't know. But, just gonna get this wiped down. Got silicone on here. Try and get all the grit out. We'll see about putting the face on here. Well, this gear has to clamp to the headstock somehow here to drive this as a facing attachment. Mm. It's kind of unclear to me how that happens. So, I guess I'll just leave it on there and bolt it up. And if I figure it out later on, I'll figure it out. Yeah, we're not going to get anywhere with those, so. Just swing it over here and bolt this on. Well, it's going to come off.
Well, y'all are gonna have to live somewhere else while I put this attachment on because you're in the way of the chain where it's gonna come. So I'll bring you back. Well, I gotta go find a deeper half inch Allen. This one's run out, so. I'll do that and finish bolting this on. I'll bring you back. Well, there it is, all installed. I can use it for boring, because I can manually adjust the face and slide. I uh, can't use the gear part of it, because it's just floating in here. But, uh, I'll have to figure out some kind of way to be able to clamp that in the future so I can have this thing face. And I need to check the tram and angles and everything on this and see how it is. But for now, it should be good enough to do this job. So I guess I'll fire this thing up and see if it cuts any better. get this tool in far enough for the diameter to be have clearance here uh, it's in too far to uh, clear this so that's gonna hit this solid part so this boring bar is not gonna work so I'll have to get this out of here and find a different boring bar and probably fabricate a sleeve in order to adapt it in there so that'll be another project for another day but for now, the facing head's on there. You can see the gear back in there. Needs a clamp to make the auto drive work. 
and this is your selector for the fades. But at least it does fit on there. Uh, Got to figure out why it's on there crooked, but for now it'll be okay. Uh, it's five thousandths run out, basically ten, ten total at uh, two feet from the spindle. So it's got a little wobble, but not much. We'll address it sometime in the future. But for now, I need to get a boring bar so I can finish this job. Well, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and uh, celebrates that sort of thing. And I'm thankful for all of my subscribers and people that watch the channel and give me feedback on these projects and enjoy watching to see them done. I appreciate y'all. So, with that, I'm gonna go try and hunt down some parts and we'll come back to this another day. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch y'all later.